Hi, Internet friends. I'm Tim Schrock at Design Build Solutions. I wanted to um, discuss this question that Amy brought up on on uh, Facebook today regarding this custom room label that she wanted to do. And it's a brilliant idea. Room.name, room.schedule number, room.height.ceiling finish. It works when the text is within the correct room, closet, room schedule number, room ceiling height. But when she pulls this out of the room and runs an arrow to the room, the room name and the ceiling height are correct, but the schedule number is not. So I played around with some custom macros and I tried uh, a, a macro that does my room name and gets all that information. Um, I tried this thing called referenced question mark. Yes, if it's referenced, no, if it's not referenced, referenced layer. So I got some information about what was referenced, whether that's a wall or a door or a window or a room, and then my room label. Now, if I were to drag this into the room, I'd get the room name. That's from the um, my room label, my room name uh, macro, but it's not referenced and there is no reference layer, which makes sense uh, because I don't have it referenced. Now, if I were to drag this into a room, it's still not referenced. If I were to touch this text, yes, it's referenced. And uh, it's on the room labels layer. But if I were to take this label out here, now it's in the bedroom R02. Confusing. Confusing. So what I did was, so what I found was, let me back up a smidgen. For purposes of a macro, an arrow will not pick up a room as a referenced object. It will pick up a wall. It will pick up a window. It will pick up a label. It will not pick up a room. For purposes of this macro, room.name and room.height do pick up through a referenced information, but but room.schedule number does not. And so even if I force this into referenced.room.schedule number, remember, I cannot reference the room as exampled here. So owner.room.schedule number picks up the owner of this label, which is bedroom R02. And that's not what we want anyway. So what can we do? What I did was I went into my defaults, floors and rooms, and made a custom room label. I'm going to paste this back in here with a blank line. And that pick, that lets the program pick up the room, bedroom. And then not room.schedule number, just schedule number picks up the schedule number RO2 and then ceiling height room dot ceiling height room dot height dot ceiling finish okay now uh, by the way room dot height dot ceiling finish does not need a custom macro figuring out elevations and I've proven that by making this structure minus 12 on the floor and it's so it's picking up the 107 and three quarters it's already figured that out go up to second floor it's doing the same thing i made this ceiling height uh 120 and it's picking up the 118 and 5 8 finished ceiling height so that's already it's picking up the one the the finished ceiling height the the um uh what's it called relative height not the absolute height of the ceiling here okay if you add create this 
custom room label after the fact, after you've already labeled some room names, you go into that room and you just uncheck and check show room label and it will reset your room label like that. Okay. Now, here's where it gets tricky. If I take that room label out of the room, for some reason, it now picks up the owner. Wait a second. What? It was doggone you. It was working a moment ago. Oh no. Okay. So the room, yes, the room name and the room label, the room name and the room label remain with this room. The closet is R03, but the ceiling height now goes with the owner. <laughs> Can't make this up. Can we to correct that? Now we create a arrow from the label to the room and now it is referenced again. <laughs> so, 95 and three quarters is the relative ceiling height of this closet. The name is correct. The room number is correct. The ceiling height is correct. And there's how you can get it to work. It's the same thing. If I were to pull this living room off here, I'd get a blank for the, for the ceiling height. I just need to draw a arrow back to the room. And now we get that information. Kind of whack. Uh, something that just isn't connected the same way. Um, with these referenced information and, but this is one way to get it to work. Hope that helps. Take care.